Hi folks, Tom Landis here, back on the job site. I've been gone for about a month now. Uh, hope you can hear me okay. There's quite a bit of noise on the job site. You can see the guys are back here trying their uh, best to button up the job. Uh, well, we've got some really nice weather. Man, we got socked in this winter. We had a month of snow, a hundred year storm. It was uh, two feet deep out here in the woods. And then we had torrential rains. Uh, for about another two weeks in January and it really uh, slowed down progress. We took some time off, shut down the site, and then we got a break in this nice weather. We got back out here and did all of our uh, foundation work and groundwork. Uh, of course, this uh, program is not about how to do the job. It's about how to manage the job. If you wanted to know uh, more details about how to do the job, uh, why don't you go to my other website, ownerbuilder.com and uh, it has a home building video there lots of good information a home building guide and it will help you through the process uh, but while, while we're out here today what we're taking a look at is the groundwork and the foundation for this home here in Black Diamond, Washington Once the uh, weather broke, we got out here with foundation crew, uh, poured some footers, poured some walls. Uh, we used a standard inch and eighth panel for the garage, but we used a Logic product, and that's uh, Logic's L-O-G-I-X, the ICF products. Uh, you can go to their website and uh, find out more installation details. But we are using the, the Logic's in the foundation to do a sealed crawler. And once we got all the uh, foundation system in, we went around and put in an infiltration trench and a dispersal trench to handle all the site water. Uh, the crews are out here right now finishing up that job. We're putting in the pipe for the downspouts. Uh, we've got a couple trenches put in place and we're going to do our best to manage the flow of water off the job site and contain it here in the property. The other thing that we have to do besides control the flow of water on the job site is to uh, protect uh, runoff during construction. So you can see behind me I've got a silt fence in place. We had to tow it in, which means you put a little trench in the ground and uh, set that silt fence in so uh, the, the water doesn't escape the site during construction. Um, so in terms of water runoff, there's two things required by code and that's uh, protect the environment while you're building and then after the house is completed, to use that dispersal trench to control the flow of water from the rooftop and from all of the impervious uh, ground surrounding the house. The thing we've done while we're out here is to install all of our electrical conduit. Uh, anything that needed to go in the ground, we uh, dug the trenches and stuck our Schedule 80 pipe in the ground. And all we've got to do is later is uh, pull that wire when it comes time to uh, run from our transformer back to our power panel. All that's been accomplished here in the last couple of days and uh, pretty soon we'll have the whole site buttoned up and ready for the framing. Okay, folks, that's about it for today. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel. Uh, we've got this site buttoned up. We are uh, about ready for the next phase of work. Now that we've got the uh, downspouts ready to go on our dispersal trench, the uh, electrical conduits in place, and uh, 
Everything below grid is ready to go. I'm waiting for a porta potty to show up and then uh, the framing crew. You have any more serious questions about the home building process, go to ownerbuilder.com. Come back here in a, another week or so and uh, we'll get on to the next phase of work. All right, have a good day.